my pearls and shade is yellowing dramatically i'm not really sure why but i can't really check right now because i'm about to head out with my brother and sister to do some grocery shopping for thanksgiving but it's not watering because i know i just watered this a couple of days ago but it might be experiencing some root rot i'm gonna check when i get back It's Marianne and welcome to day one of 12 days of plantmas. It's Thanksgiving day when I'm filming this and I'm already two glasses of wine in so sorry if I already sound slushy and I'm just walking my dog before we actually have Thanksgiving dinner. We've been cooking pretty much all day but the good thing about our family is that every year we do celebrate Thanksgiving just the immediate family so this Thanksgiving is not really that much different from other Thanksgiving and I'm really thankful for that because I know a lot of you have to make sacrifices and chose not to go home so you want help spread the COVID-19 virus and well thank you for doing your part but I hope you had a good Thanksgiving anyways no matter how you celebrated it. Plantmas is pretty much plant YouTube's version of Vlogmas. I did it last year. I did 25 days of plant buzz. I had one video every day and also I was doing regular vlogmas which was plentiful vlogmas and that was quite a lot. I mean it was a great accomplishment that I was able to actually do it but it is too much. So I decided not to do it this year and only do 12 days of plant buzz. and to be honest no matter who you are no one's life is that interesting to be vlogging about it every day. Like you don't need to see me walk my dog which is what I'm doing right now pick up his poop, run errands, and clean my room all the time because that's what's basically what my vlogs will be like if I am going to vlog every day. But yeah, so 12 days of Planmas, I will have three videos out each week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. EST. And it's just going to be a bunch of fun planty videos, review 2020 in plants, and also just do some fun stuff. And this is probably the only vloggy type of video that you'll get from 12 Days of Plantmas from me and everything else is pretty much a lot more structured videos but also a little bit vloggy but anyways you will see when the videos comes up but yeah so let me just finish walking my dog and I'll see you at Thanksgiving dinner. Sorry, baby. I know it's dinner time, but you have to wait for everyone else to have dinner. Then you can have dinner too. We'll eat together, okay? I have food come already. Hey everyone, so it's the day after Thanksgiving and after dinner I just went straight to bed. Well, I tried watching a movie with my family but the two glasses of wine and the food coma from the dinner, I just fell asleep and I actually had a hard time sleeping because I can't handle my alcohol anymore. Like those two glasses of wine did me in and I had a rough night because of that. But I took a shower and now I'm feeling a lot better and I'm going to show you how I water my plants because I've gotten questions. Well, I've gotten requests to show how I water my plants during my watering day. I don't specifically have a watering day, but, but every Friday is when I do a full check of my plants because Friday is when I do flush my plants or check on the plants that I have in Leica and I also do a sweep of 
my other plants to see which ones need watering or not. And the pearls and jade pothos, I actually still haven't able to take care of it. And so I'm going to take care of today and see what's the cost of the yellowing. The yellowing has stopped since I placed it on the heat mat two days ago. So I think it may be just because I, when I watered it, I put it straight right away into its planter. And normally my pothos don't like that because the excess moisture gets trapped. So I'm just going to go ahead and check, see if there's any root rot. And I'm going to go check on the plants that have been like a, and water any plants that needs watering quick sweep of my plants I can see this one already starting to yellow you are going to experience a bit of yellowing from your plants during this time just because they are transitioning to a much cooler weather with a lot less light and you're also trying to adjust your watering for them so you're going to experience yellowing in your plants like with this in pearls and jade pothos and I also get questions on how I water my plants that are hanging well, the answer is I do just take them down. I mean, for the most part, they are within my reach. Some of them, I'm not that tall. I am actually very short, so I just climb up and get them. And most of the plants that I have in my DIY planters, they do have saucers in the bottom of them, like this one. So technically, I could water directly from the top and just leave them hanging. But I don't do that just because, again, I don't want excess moisture trapped. And I also not sure if I'm watering the plants correctly or thoroughly. So that's why I still just bring them down. And honestly, it's still a lot easier than just trying to keep it up there while I'm Sweet rot, I think I just didn't let the water drain like I'm supposed to. Yeah, there's no, yeah, there's no root rot. I think I just need to let it drain and this plant also was not is not originally in my room it's originally in my sister's room but during the winter time it doesn't get a lot of light so she asked me to move it into my room for now and i think it's also trying to adjust being here in my room so all right so let me just take out all the leaves that are yellowing So yeah, so, so yeah, when you're watering your plants, it is important to drain the excess water. That's whether you're top watering or bottom watering. Always drain out the excess water before you put it back into any cash bowl or any hanging planters that you may have. Okay, so it's starting to be a little bit bald in here. So I probably have to do something about that. So we're going to get a, a vine with a lot of empty leaves like here I could do is cut it and then propagate it but instead what I'm going to do is just wrap it around the plant well wrap it around the topsoil and make sure those vines with nose are touching the soil and hopefully they will root and propagate that way which they would I had success doing that in the past and it would grow new leaves and new vines as well. And as you can see, it looks a lot fuller now. This will be a little bit more short because I wrapped it around, but I don't see any more bald spots in the middle after I did that. Let's see what's going on with it. So this one doesn't need watering. And I'm not sure why it's yellowing, but I experienced this last year with my Acherias. It was just like yellowing for no reason at all. And it usually happens when it's been vining this long. So I'm just going to take out the yellowing leaves. And it probably doesn't like being up there. A lot of my plants don't like being on that spot. Very few do. So this one. All right, this one needs watering so, yeah. over here. And this Hoya Crimson Princess, I only water this once a month. So I could water it from the top because it is a self-watering planter, but because I only do water it once a month, I like taking it down so I could also inspect the entire plant and also wash the leaves to get rid of any dust accumulation on the leaves. Alright, 
this one definitely needs watering because as you can see the soil is separating from the edge of the plastic pot and that is one of the signs that a plant needs watering is this one also as well because i know i didn't water this last week which i should have serographicus needs to be watered at least once a week and as you can see this part dried out because i don't water it as often as i should the ones here at the bottom yeah the soil is still moist this one yeah the soil is still moist so they are fine and the ones here on top yeah the soil is still very much moist this one um probably a couple more days for that one and my zz plant i don't I only water that once a month so i'm not watering that in this i know i just recently watered for the plants that i have up there i could grab them and check them to see if they need watering or not but for this type of plants i could pretty much see by just looking at them that they don't need watering and usually when the foliage becomes a little bit flat and a little bit wrinkly that's when i know that they need watering same goes for my plants that are above my bed. They're both Synapsis Pothos plants. A way to tell that Synapsis plants need watering already is when the leaves starts to curl. So that's my watering tray and I'm just going to put the plants that need watering. The plants that I have in soil at least. Yeah, it's a boo boo for these watering. pretty much the plants that are located in the same area do need watering like all of this came from my second wire grid so that's how i also arrange my plants i put the plants that have similar watering schedules together so that when i water one of them i know that i pretty much have to water all of them at least the ones that are grouped together and for the most part i only use tap water on my plants tap water that has sat at least overnight and I normally also bottom water my plants and I also got questions on how long do I keep my plants on the tree so what I usually do is I just set it and forget it I just let it drain as much water it wants or needs and then later on the day I will take it out of the tray let it drain out any excess water and wipe down the pots. Usually for plants this size, this will probably just take less than five minutes before it gets fully watered. But for the ones that are in four, six inch pots, I just let it sit for a few hours and just take them out later on. As long as you don't let your plants sit in water for more than 24 hours, they're gonna be fine. And let's see if there's any here that needs watering. Um, right for the let's perform the taco test on them. Um, yeah, probably a couple more days. This one I know I just watered, so it should be fine. This one is fine as well. Um, this one I probably have to water. This is my Syndapsis Jade Satin, my orchid. I'm so proud of this one because. You see, this is going to be my first orchid that I will successfully regrow the flowers. And I think what worked is this one, the orchid plant food mist. It really does help with regrowing the flowers of the orchids. Syndapsa Silver Splash, I converted into Leica and it's doing pretty well. I was kind of like nervous about that. So this one definitely need a flush. I probably also need to check the roots because it has, the leaves are yellowing again. I mean, it might be just a seasonal thing with the Monstera Adansoni because I do experience crazy yellowing on this during this time of year. This one definitely needs watering. As you can see, the soil is dry just by looking at it. Okay, this, oh, oh, this has grown roots already. My Shangri Ulala. Pothos, the sphagnum moss is still a little bit moist to touch, so I am not going to be watering this. For the ones at the bottom, I think I just need to flush the ones in like a, none of them do need watering right now. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, finish watering my plants and thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you at day two of 12 days of Plantmas. Bye. And without fail, I will have the vacuum soil in my carpet, which is an everyday occurrence for me now.